following in his father's footsteps, Jack Fleeman spent 32 years as a police officer with the Jeffersonville Police Department. And now he's here to tell us about his new book, a tribute to his father, entitled Jeff Cop. And thank you for joining us. So and tell glad me, to be here. Okay, so tell me about this book. And, and we were just talking about how this was kind of a process. To So when did you first start thinking of you wanted to write a book? I've been wanting to write it for probably most of my career. I, I went through so many experiences and I thought, Somebody needs to know about these things, mm -hmm. because police see a lot, and they don't get a chance to talk about it. And the amount of experience, 32 years. I mean, well, actually, it's 36. 36. I had four with the Indiana State Excise okay. Police, and then 32 at Jeffersonville Police, and much of that was as a detective. Mm -hmm. I've seen quite a bit, and I've learned a lot. And so it came to a time when uh, I want to write a book and, and uh, pass this down to my family, my, my grandchildren, and my great-grandchildren. I'll be off the earth, but let them learn some of the lessons, maybe do a book report someday about it. <laughs> That's pretty cool, book report on their grandfather. But tell me, what are some of the, the stories people can learn or, or find out about in this book? Well, I talk about first, about, I was inspired, my father came home one night with police uniforms. He was, I was just a young child, and I knew right away, I'm, I wanna be a policeman, just like Dad. And he couldn't come home from work without me. What'd you do today, Dad, mm -hmm. what'd you do today? And so. It got to the point where that's what I'm going to do, and I tried to get on Jeffersonville Police, and they weren't hiring, but the Indiana State Excise Police did hire me, and uh, I was enforcing alcoholic beverage laws in Indiana, been primarily in the southeast part of the state for four years, had some experiences there. I found out that when you're dealing with alcoholic beverage licenses, and you might step on some toes, mm -hmm. and, and I had people trying to get me transferred, one person tried to get me fired, but Not my so department happy. my department stood behind me and they said you patted me on the back and said you're doing a good job. That's what they wanted me to do. Good to hear. Well, tell me too, how important do you think this book is for people to read right now in a time when some are thinking and seeing police in not so of a positive light? Right. It, there's a lot of uh, talk about the police mm -hmm. now. I don't know if I'd want to be out there. I'm old school and uh, you have to hand it to the police. This is a lot of the old school thoughts. We've got mm -hmm. a lot of values in here that I think we've lost. Maybe not just in the police, but uh, in, in society. Just in, a different in general. perspective then. Yes, you say? it is. And uh, there's some uh, great information here. A big paragraph, a big uh, chapter devoted to my work with the Exploited Child Unit here in Louisville, mm -hmm. uh, task force that I was involved in that Mitch McConnell set up uh, as part of the task, uh, the Exploited Child Unit. And, uh, John Walsh was in town one time and, and gave us all some lessons in life. And, and I carried him back that night to my police department and Chief William Hill listened to me and we changed policy that night, eight o'clock at night at Jeffersonville Police on reporting children missing. Mm -hmm. And uh, th those type of little things, I gave talks to schools and, and uh, had a lot of help from the uh, Exploited Child Unit members. And uh, there's some good stories in here too about some murders, mm -hmm. uh, Ripley's Entertainment. So lots of different stories. Yes, in there. there's there's one robbery that happened at a fast food restaurant that uh, Ripley's, believe it or not, had a cartoon. It showed how four people almost died if it wasn't for a bucket of pickles. Okay. It's well, a lot book. of stories in there. So yes. thank you so much, Jack, for joining us. You can get the book right now on Amazon or at Barnes and Nobles. We'll be right back with more after the break.